Welcome to FOH this week. <laughs> it's just bedlam. For the sake of taking a picture of the collection of water bottles. Behind Why? here, behind here in the esky, there's a possum. No doubt he'll stick its head out and jump on me during the course of the day. I'm praying. Has I'm he got a name? Uh, I haven't named it yet. No? Ken's feeding it dry biscuits. I said maybe give it a piece of fruit. And of course he said he doesn't have a piece of fruit in the house. Sort of I'm up. going to the markets the next day or so. Yeah. I'll just run out. Seriously, I've had other things to do. I've been busy. May I take this opportunity? Alex, thank you so much. That's incredibly kind of you. Hopefully you watch this. Um, as soon as Kafoops, of course, saw them, he said, oh, half must be mine. Um, you got a sampler pack from, a, from, from a, a lovely member out of Sydney, yeah? Yes. Uh, Sydney, incredibly who, kind. Who Ken did nothing for, but still he got a gift. It seems to be quite common. Uh, uh, anyway, um, excellent. Have you met Mr. Sour Grapes? I'd like to thank Angelo from PCC for this magnificent bottle of Royal Grand Reserva Especial Ronza Kappa, which we'll be enjoying this afternoon. Okay. Angelo, that's very kind. Uh -huh. Lovely. Looks like should be in the weights room. That'd be my phone. Let's turn that off. Is that your other phone? Because you, you've plugged up my computers with one of them. Oh, yeah. You're just recharging it. Yeah, it's fine. I think he's downloading. Like, look, it's just been a difficult day. So let's just get you to the next stage. Lucky We're going to do the Twitter uh, Media Luna today. Lucky me. Uh, which is a petite robusto. And then we're going to do a punch short the punch. So next week. Or we've been... No, I'm going to do them both today. Good grief. Yeah. We're actually um, confessing to that. Yeah, we are. Today. Uh, oh, do you think that should be on the oh, oh, middle of the table? I'd really hate to see that come yeah, crashing it's, down. Ken's already complained about the size of the cigars for this week. Uh, Seriously, it's the last one of the year. Yeah. And you've got two new cigars, which very few people have smoked. You put them together and you're getting close to one. We've got a Petit Robusto. Okay, we're going to start with the Trinidad Media Luna. I love Trinidad. I'm a Trinidad fan, Trinidad whore. You like Trinidad as well. Those love Trinidad. The Trovers, the Fundadores. Fundadores is good. Uh, uh, I love the Reyes. I love the Coloniales. They're too small for you, I understand that. But... Um, Media Luna Petite Robusto, not my favourite Vitola Petite Robusto. Um, and coming up against the Monte Cristo Petite Mundo, which is, you know, I think by far and away, probably the, the best Petite Robusto if you want that chocolatey type uh, profile. Then again, you've got the Hoy de Monterey um, Petite Robusto, which is all that burnt sugar cane, which is just glorious and cream. So I'm not, uh, this is have to be pretty special to sort of find its way in there because no doubt it's going to come with a higher price point. Being Trinidad. We're going to find out. We'll do this in two sections. We're just going to do. Um, You've got go the Marauders through. map as well. We've got the Marauders wrap to do an FO, FAQ. FAQ. FOH FAQ. So, Kenny, what we're going to do is um, we're going to do this in um, smoker's first the first half initial impressions and then a closing impressions. All right? And then 12, min 12 minutes later, we'll be on to the next one. That's a beautiful looking cigar, isn't it? Look at that wrapper. I mean, if you want to do a yep. perfect wrapper, that's it for me. It's just beautiful. You know, we talk about Colorado, a little bit of Colorado, which is rubbed with Vaseline. This is it. It's just beautiful. It's not bad. Beautiful. It's not bad. How's your drop? Do I look as though I've tried it yet? Can you sort of like maybe like cut the end? Look at this. Draws so on the easy is, side. Is there a fire? Right, draws on the easy side. Well, we're hoping, oh, to get to we're hoping to get to it. What did you forget? What did you forget? What did I forget? I said you forgot to bring something. A clip uh, for you, but... Uh, oh, no, there's you, right, mate. Come on. Come on. Does the possum want some? Is he using he, his head up through the top there yet? No, not yet. He'll steer his head up during the course of the afternoon. Seriously, if there was such a thing as possum money, he'd be very... i paid pay him to jump on Rob. <laughs> as I said, if that possum jumps on me during the course of this, he's dead possum. Yeah? Yeah, it's Jackie Chan, the possum killer. <laughs> You'll scream like a girl. I will. Did I kill it? You think you could catch it? Seriously, you're wearing it like a hat. Um, can we? Can you just check the draw? We're good to go. Excellent. We'll be back to you shortly. Can you leave the possum alone? It's good. You scared him out of his box. He's just back there. You can see him creeping up on me. It's going to be. A, it's going to be. He's attacking from the rear. He's a great he's, boss. He's, he's spent ten. So. 
can you blame me for getting rid of your markets? That's right. Uh, That's for you, Artie. <laughs> <laughs> like he's got time to watch. <laughs> he had his head out watching for about 10 minutes. So we've called him Basil because he looked like the, the rat out of Basil Faulty. Uh, and then the Foops here laughs at something, throws his head back, and the poor thing jumped out onto the ground and bolted off. That's fine. Leave the poor possum alone. Um, opening impressions. Well, he's a healthy possum. Uh, if he jumps on me, Ken, I can tell you that right He's now. back again. Here he comes. Why is he... Get up well, like... He wants to go through. Well, why is he going through this way for? Because he can't... What do you want him to do? Climb onto the roof and go over? <sighs> Poor little what... thing. Oh, well, there he goes. He waddles away. Can we, can we focus on the cigar for a second? Why, we never do. <laughs> <laughs> Just today. <laughs> why should we finish this year? Uh, yeah, look, it's okay so far. Um, I wouldn't say that I've been wowed or... Um, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Box coat, yeah? It's very fresh. August 19, MUP. I thought you were going to say 20. Um. Uh, it's certainly got some crumpet. Bit of crumpets. Bit yeah. of butter crumpet. There. Actually, that, that's not a bad... Um, uh, yeah, that sort of uh, honey on, on yeah. toasted crumpets. Yeah. That's not a bad... Uh, but it's just got that little bit of ammonia greenness in there too, doesn't it? Yeah, for me anyway. I'm not getting ammonia, um, but I'm not getting much. I'm just, you know, it's just sort of okay. Can you not fucking, get, sorry, can you not get through the here? Where is he? Don't, he's, oh, there there he goes. Goes. oh That's geez. all he's wanted to do all day. Oh, good on him. Uh, Basil the racing possum. Can we have a... Can we? Can we? So far, <laughs> it's not bad. But it's not. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. Um, maybe we're looking at these way too early. Isn't it? We but, are. Uh, mm. I think it's got some nice depth of flavour. Is yours accurate in any way? Oh, it's just it's on the edge there, isn't yeah, it? On the edge. Just it's on the edge. not really that way. It's but, just, it's... but that's just you. You're right. Right. I've got a feeling that in about an inch I might be saying... I've had enough. Well, not I've had enough, but there's a hell of a lot more there, which would be a shame. I can see where it's going. Don't get me wrong. These what, just the pot plant? No, no, no. They're not going. To the, the cigars not going to the pot plant. I can see. The yeah, Anahados did, and the possum took it out. It certainly has a. It, it's got a excellent Trinidad DNA in there. It's just that it seems a bit moist and a bit young. So we're back. Trinidad DNA. I reckon it's a bit harsh on Trinidad. No, come on. It's got that beautiful. Again, that, that coffee, hey, having a crumpet on a Sunday morning with a, sort of some ni with a nice cup of coffee is what it sounds like. No? You're going to laugh, aren't you? No, I was going to say something. You're going to make a sexual connotation out Not of that, the aren't least. you? Not you the were. least. You're about 12 years of age, aren't you? <laughs> there he is. There he is. And we're away. We'll be back to you shortly. Okay, let's wrap up the Trinidad Liberal La Luna. Media. Luna. Media. Luna. Mm -hmm. It didn't get harsh. Mm. Did yours get a bit harsh? I quite enjoyed mine. It's actually... I'm going to enjoy I'm, a lot more I'm, in six months' time. I'm, I'm actually not keen to wrap it up because it's actually started just starting to get it a bit better. It got really good. Well, I don't know, but it's, got, it's getting better. I'm starting... There's a little bit of caramel just starting to creep in. There's not that acrid note. So I think... Um, oh, that acrid note was just on the edges. Yeah. And that was just... That's a gone. Little bit, that's it's gone. a pleasant cigar. It's sort of... I can see it much more as Trinidad now. I didn't see it to begin with, but I can see it now. And there's that little bit of caramel creeping in. And, yeah, it's got all know. the... To me, it had all the Trinidad DNA mm -hmm. that you'd want out of it. I don't quite even don't mind the size. Have you looked at the pricing on these yet? I've got to... We'll put, the, we'll put them up in January. But... Um, you mean you put the prices up? I'll put them up for sale. In January, you know, I'll just put my normal four percent on. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's all I do. Just try to break even, Ken. It's a tough life. Right. But I was. Maybe you have to afford, oh. afford some men's shoes. That's for a man who's not wearing any. Really? Live here. Talking about being able to afford shoes. Bloody hell. I think it's a bit of super glue uh, on your old ones won't do. I got um, some really nice coffee shortbread notes there towards that. I'm not getting end. much coffee. The shortbread, the shortbread 
that little bit of caramel, but I don't want to finish this yet. This is going, uh, I think this could get better. Well, it is, I but think, you're I down think, to the last inch in a bit, yeah? Well, they're only about two inches long to start. But uh, I, yeah, I definitely, they come in boxes of 12, yeah? Put a box aside. I don't think, and I don't think they're gonna need that long. I think six months. Yeah, well, I mean. Six months, yeah, yeah. at that. Give it a crack. If you went to Monte Cristo with Mundos, uh, Petit Robustos, yeah, these are worth picking up a box of. <coughs> so how do you compare them to the Bahiki 52s? Well, we'd like to see some. <laughs> I think. I did one for They're not, I mean, look, uh, to be honest, I mean, unless you're a special client in Havana, when's the last time you saw, when's the last time you saw a Bahiki I, 52, I, I, really? I, I did a, um, a uh, second uh, that I got from a, a friend. Uh, for confessions recently, and so I went back and did a bit of research. And one of the things they said about uh, when they were released, because they were released in 2010, I think, yeah. originally, these will be regular production. You can expect at least 150,000 sticks annually. No, but no. Well, mind you, I mean, you know, Bahiki 52 is a, a, a six, seven, eight hundred dollars a box these days. Are going for US yeah. before duty, so that, let's. Let's keep those out of the conversation because yeah, well, it's, it's, just, it's just not. I mean, I had to say, the second won't be good. This is a good. This lovely. is a, a good release by Trini, uh, Trinidad. I think I think they'll do well with this. Um, I, I must they'll... confess, the first the first inch or so, I thought, what a waste of time. Why have they bought? Oh, they're way too fresh. But man, we've had fresh cigars before. But you're starting to see. All I want out of fresh cigars is to try to get a glimpse as to where they're going to be. And I feel like I've had this cigar before. It I is, feel I've had the cigar in the Trini Robusto teas. It's got a little, you know, in the, it just in those early young, fresh Trini Robusto teas. I, I get, uh, it's to me. I, I get excited when I see some real DNA, and I see Trinidad DNA all through these. So, um, given that they're Trinidad, and uh, when they shuffle those around like a pack of cards, what's the life expectancy before these get discontinued? Well, they, they seem to be. It's that's an interesting question. They won't be discontinued, but. You know, they they release these things and then they sort of focus on something else. And they've got production issues and they've got boxing issues. A lot of the issues that they've had that they have had this year in terms of supply has not necessarily been the tobacco. It seems to be the logistics of getting the of getting the boxes out, everything else out. But they've just they have completed and it's now fully operational their their, their box facility, which is adjacent to the warehouse there. And what we are seeing is a lot more production coming through, even though it's in smaller quantities that I'd like to see, I'm still seeing things getting released. But having said that, think of the number of, of new Trinidads that have been released over the last 10, 15 years. They've had more restarts on Trinity. Like they, they, you wouldn't know, they come and go. They wouldn't know where they're going with the, with the brand. They, they've tried to reposition it. They, they've, they, you know, look, the, 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 the Vigia has been a good cigar, but I don't think it's where they wanted it to be. Uh, the Robusto tea was a brilliant cigar. You know, the Extra was a brilliant cigar. They've disappeared. They, How often are you seeing La Trova? Not as often as I'd like. I probably would have seen four or five, five or six master cases this year. That was mostly in the early part of the year. But the quality is excellent. Uh, not only in quality. And the quality yeah. is excellent. We're just not seeing the volumes that we require. The problem is they've got such a huge portfolio. Uh, they really have, but they've got a Formula One portfolio and, and about a Formula Six engine <laughs> driving it. You know, and that's the problem. They can't produce what they need to produce. They can't produce their portfolio, and that, which is a fail. So, what then possesses them to say, okay, well, we're going to bring yet another one onto the market? Because they promised it two years ago. Yeah, but have they always maintained? Generally, they at least pretend to go through the motions of getting some out there, and then you might see them for a while. I mean, yeah. You know, so what we, you're saying is, if you want these, get on them real quick. No, I'm not saying that. I think these will be around for a little while. I think the worst their production issues, hopefully for this season, are probably a little bit behind them. Uh, are probably behind them, I should say. I, I think you'll find these relatively available. Uh, you know, the Trovers are an expensive cigar. They're a very, very good cigar. Um, but now the world wants petite mundos. Right, they, they, they want Petit Robustos. Half, sorry, Petit Robustos. Yeah. I you, enjoy that. If I had to rate that, I'd give that an 89.90. On 88 and 89. Well, not far off, no. with, with a lot of upside the next six months. So, put them away. Some upside. I reckon, I reckon you would be surprised on these. Six months, people. Put them away. Till next week. Keep well. I'll still wiggle. So, 
Never mind. You're going to ruin it, actually. No, no, I was just going to point out that you said we were doing two today. Yeah, but can we just go through the motions? But pretending it's next yeah, week. Yeah, just pretend. That's why I asked the question in the first place. Just, just be back shortly.